Um, my name is Apostle Simon Chilovela. I come from Zimbabwe. Um, I received a prophecy from the man of God. Um, he, he, he gave me a word that uh, I should stop uh, criticizing men of God. That is one of the things. So there is this place I used to go to. Um, to the way where we debate, to, and there are people who come up with doctrines to criticize men of God. So he gave me that word, and for me it is true. Um, because God had also given me a warning to stop going into that place where there are debates. And I, I did not heed the voice by so doing even the ministry that he has spoken about to say I'm raised as one of the uh, uh, big prophets in Zimbabwe, but it has affected my, my ministry. So to me, I confirm it to be very, very true. So from today, um, I repent. I will have to keep my, my ministry. I will have to just do my job. What God has called me to do is what I'm going to do. That's my assignment. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. Um, God, God managed. It's like uh, my calling, how God called me. He spoke to me. He used the mouth. He spoke to me. So I know that God speaks. So as I know that God speaks, I went also through the word of God. I found out, I'll give you an example, um, uh, like Jehoshaphat. If, when they wanted to go to war, they say, is there a man of God we can inquire from? So I got a lot of wisdom from the word of God. You would find the old prophets, the old prophets, God would come to them, he would reveal himself, he would talk to them. And it has not stopped. Even the New Testament prophets, Agabus, the daughters of Philip, and I believe the Holy Spirit, if he comes, he will also tell, tell us things that shall come. So God actually speaks. So from that, that point, I'm, I'm, I believe that God is going to raise me and establish me in my ministry. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I got the impartation, I believe. Um, no man establishes himself. No man establishes himself. I also saw that impartation actually works. Uh, even the Lord Jesus him, is himself, when he came, uh, he did not take it to be that I am mighty. When, even when John said, uh, I need to be baptized of you, he said, baptize me so that all righteousness will be. So even Paul, he needed Ananias. And that is what we need. We always need others in the body of Christ. I'm sure it is the wisdom that we seek. If we get that wisdom, then it shall be well with us. Um, there are a lot of things which are going on these days. I know that even the man of God is reprimanding a lot of people. So the word reprimanding, I know that there's a lot of reprimanding which is going on. And... Mostly you would find that in the way people want to reprimand, by so doing, they end up also speaking about people they don't know. So what I know about uh, men of God, just like our apostle, he speaks about what he receives from God. God gives him a revelation and then he's able to reprimand. If you are, you are blind or you, you have not had a, re a revelation, where are you getting this thing of criticizing anybody? It has to be a revelation and also it has to be according to the word of God. God has to give you a revelation and then you shall speak. Not just against anybody. But the wisdom of God would give us something like John. It was not just by scriptures that he, Jesus was revealed to him. He saw a vision. It was like a... a the Holy Spirit was coming like a dove. To him it was a sign. Then he knew that this is the Messiah. And the Pharisees knew the scriptures, but they could not know the Messiah. So sometimes you would say it takes the grace of God to know the, the true men of God and the false. We, we always have to seek God and his grace and his guidance all the times. Yes.